Hi, my name is Marcin Gil. I'm working for Cloudfera and today I will show you how to create a Windows Server virtual machine and access it from Linux desktop. First of all, I need to log in to Croadia's site. Now, when I am logged in, I can uh, access my virtual resources uh, in uh, OpenStack dashboard. I can access it from my account and your cloud environment. So I click on your cloud environment. I have a choice to, uh, to log in using my OpenID uh, Connect credentials, so the same as uh, uh, logging to Crowdias, or I can use Keystone credentials. Then I have to enter my domain uh, number and username and password. So I will use my OpenID Connect, and by clicking Connect using SSO, uh, I will be moved directly to OpenStack dashboard. In overview I can see my limits. Uh, so for instance uh, this user can create uh, 10 instances up to 20 use up to 20 vCPUs and uh, other resources are shown here and I can uh, choose uh, in which project I will be uh, uh, creating the resources. At this moment, uh, the project which is chosen is called test project. However, when I uh, open the menu, I can see that there are some other projects as well. Uh, if you log in for the first time, you will see the first two projects. So uh, cloud uh, number of your domain project with L and a cloud number of your domain projects without L. But you can later create uh, your own projects as well, some other projects with your, uh, with your names. And uh, having uh, this, you, you have to create also network resources, so create routers. Uh, if you want to create your own project, please uh, uh, check on our page on Croadia's site the tutorial how to do it. So now, uh, if I want to create uh, instance Windows instance, I will go to Instances pane. Uh, at this moment, there are no instances. So I click on launch instance, uh, give a new instance a name, I will call it test. And uh, I can click either next or uh, next pane, choose source. Now I can choose uh, how this instance will be created. Uh, it can be a boot from uh, either image or uh, sn instance snapshots, volume or volume snapshot. So I will choose image and I can choose from the images here. So I will use Windows 2019 after clicking on the arrow, up arrow, uh, the choice will be uh, shown here and I can also choose whether to create new volume or not 
by default it is uh, chosen uh, the option no uh, if i want to uh, have the disc that is bigger than the flavor which i will choose in a moment i can uh, choose yes and then <coughs> choose the <coughs> choose the size of the system disk so in our case i will choose no next step is to use the to choose the flavor uh, there are various flavors uh, and uh, those which are signed with uh, yellow triangle are either too small or un unavailable for this uh, image so as you can see the the smallest uh, virtual resource for a windows server uh, image is eo2 eo1 eo1 large with four vcpus and eight gigabyte of ram and 32 gigabyte uh, system disk so let's choose uh, this uh, in this in this flavor after choosing the flavor the next step is to uh, go to networks uh, in networks i have the choice of uh, private networks uh, in this project, I have two uh, external uh, networks, external 2 and external 3. Uh, if you uh, register uh, now in Crodias, you will uh, have access to external 3, because external 2 and external 1 uh, are already, uh, have already uh, expired number of floating IPs. Uh, so in my case I will also choose external free and if I want to have access to EO data that is to satellite products uh, gathered on uh, our resources in our repository then I can also I will also uh, choose the EO data having this I can go to next pane uh, in the pane network ports, uh, I don't need to uh, input anything, so I go to security groups, and uh, by default there is one security group called default. Uh, but if I want to access the virtual machine from the outside world, from internet, I need to uh, add mm, uh, a security group which allows me to access the uh, virtual machine uh, in case of windows i will use rdp so i can either choose this security group allow ping ssh rdp or create my own group and if you want to create your own security group uh, please also visit our site to see uh, the uh, relevant tutorial so now I will choose the allow ping SSH RDP and that's all uh, other mm, panes uh, are not necessary to, to um, configure uh, in case of Windows you don't have to create uh, and use uh, keepers uh, keepers uh, would be necessary to uh, use in uh, Linux machines if you want to SSH to uh, Linux machine but in case of Windows we will be using RDP and Keeper is not necessary so now I click on launch instance and we will wait uh, for the instance to be created Now the instance is, has been created, it's already running, uh, it doesn't have floating IP associated yet, but uh, I uh, first in case of Windows I need to go to uh, console uh, on, on the dashboard to set up the, the password. So I choose uh, from the menu on the right, I choose the uh, 
uh, console I can see that now uh, the console shows that the Windows is being installed on the machine uh, this console is very limited you cannot uh, copy and paste uh, from your desktop so you need to um, put uh, all the data from the keyboard and you can use mouse and keyboard only so it is good for uh, some uh, additional operations but uh, normally we use other ways of accessing the virtual machine either RDP or SSH in case of Linux machines so now we are waiting for the uh, uh, for the startup of, of Windows at the bottom you can see uh, the um, information about uh, about the ports and uh, uh, which should be open uh, uh, in your uh, network environment of your desktop so please be aware that if some ports are blocked by your firewalls uh, it, it, it this um, uh, console can uh, will not be visible Okay, so I can see that now the uh, instance, the Windows uh, is, is, has already been uh, installed and we need to set up the password. As you can see, when I move my uh, mouse, uh, the cursor on uh, in the console is behaving uh, a little bit different, so uh, can be difficult to operate. This is... Uh, intrinsic, intrinsic um, uh, characteristic of this SPICE console and unfortunately we cannot do anything uh, with this. So uh, the best way is to go to one of the corners slowly and then uh, you, can, uh, you can have more control on, on, the, uh, on the arrow, on the arrow in, in the console. So now I go to OK as you can see I can click and then uh, I can put the password the password has to be uh, uh, inserted twice and after that I click on the arrow the password has been set up and uh, and now I click on OK okay so now uh, the Windows is being uh, nearly ready uh, the, we will now go to um, instances because working in the console here is uh, uh, not uh, not very easy so it is better to go to uh, uh, to use other way of communication with your server in our case we will use uh, uh, the application in Ubuntu called Remina so to do that first we need to attach uh, floating IP to the instance so I go to instances uh, now I open the menu here and click on associate floating IP uh, 
there are no floating IPs uh, allocated to my project. So I click on plus, choose the uh, one of the uh, private networks. In my in our case, we will use external free network. So I click on external free and click on allocate IP. The IP has been allocated and now I have to add it to the one of the ports and uh, beware not to try, do not try to add it to, <coughs> to your data port. Uh, uh, you should rather use the other port, the port uh, connected to the private network. So I choose the, uh, the, this, this uh, private network external free and click on associate. Okay, so now, as you can see, the floating IP has been added to the uh, virtual machine and uh, I can access it uh, using RDP protocol uh, from uh, other application. In, in my case, it will be Remina. Remina is uh, uh, open source software that you can use in um, Linux uh, desktops. So I uh, uh, now I configure the access to the uh, to the server. So I give it a name. It can be any name, but I use the same test. I choose the protocol RDP Remote Desktop Protocol, and I put the address of the server and the username will be administrator and the user password is this one that I uh, uh, inserted a moment ago And having this, I click on uh, save and connect. I accept the certificate. And now I'm already logged in using Remina to uh, my desktop. And it's much easier to use uh, this uh, access way. I can now click on uh, toggle full screen so that it will be on, on my whole screen. Uh, now I can choose any of these, like no, it's, it's, it's okay. And now I can uh, configure some uh, uh, more uh, parameters of the Windows Server. I will close this dashboard. And as you can see, I can, first of all, it's, I, I advise you to change the password because uh, most probably the password that you entered uh, during the um, uh, first setup uh, is not uh, long enough to pre prevent from attacking from, uh, from hackers and especially Windows is uh, uh, vulnerable for uh, attacks so it's uh, best way to choose uh, the stronger password now so now I will click on the start with uh, my right uh, button of my mouse and choose computer management Now I choose on local users and groups and click on users and right click again on administrator and set password. Click on proceed 
and now I can choose uh, some stronger password I can now uh, copy and paste from uh, because this uh, Remina allows me uh, to copy and paste uh, from my desktop so it's not uh, it's much easier to uh, copy a strong password from your password manager which is uh, advised and click OK the password has been set OK now I can leave uh, I can disconnect from my server and uh, uh, change the password uh, which I set uh, at first in Remina so I can edit once again my connection and copy this stronger password uh, to use a password save and connect as you can see now I connect it again with my stronger password and uh, now I will show you how to uh, see the EO data by default uh, the EO data is not mounted uh, on the server so if I click on uh, file explorer and this PC I can see that I can access the uh, disk C uh, if I want to access your data I need to use the script which is uh, uh, shown here on the desktop as mount your data so I click twice I close this and open again and uh, if this happens as this happened now that I cannot see your data uh, 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 in spite of my clicking on uh, on this uh, um, on this uh, command so now I uh, I can do uh, some workaround which we will fix uh, soon which we, we should fix soon so I click on run CMD and copy uh, another command and this command uh, should clear the situation so close once again and click mount air data I didn't help so once again Oh, okay so now it is it is ready and as you can see this is as uh, another uh, network resource its uh, access to your data is used with NFS protocol so when I click on this takes a moment okay so now as you can see I can access uh, uh, satellite data which is um, uh, which is ready on uh, our repository so for instance if I go to Sentinel-2 I can see the catalogs of various products from various years 
so this is uh, uh, so the, here you can do some processing on uh, directly uh, from the uh, from your virtual machine so in case of going deeper into the catalogs it takes uh, sometimes longer time because um, these are very huge repositories and they are uh, growing day by day so uh, you can access uh, needed data and but it takes some time however it's much quicker if you uh, comparing to downloading the data from the internet if you would like to Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much.